everyone, this is Shimad from Rocketship HQ, the mobile user acquisition agency that helps you grow in a capital efficient manner. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can improve the conversion rates on your Google Play Store. If you haven't checked it out, I would encourage you to look at our other video on YouTube about how to benchmark and compare your conversion rates against your competitors. If you see that video, you can understand, oh, how am I doing versus my peer group? How am I doing against comparable apps? Once you understand how much of a room there is for improvement, in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can actually act on that insight and how you can actually improve your performance on Google Play Store. Okay, here's what you do. Uh, so go to the Google Play Console, on the left, click on store presence, store listing experiments. Okay, so let, let's let's do this. Yeah, cool. So this is what a store listing experiments be, the home page looks like. Uh, and as you would have guessed, this allows you to run an A-B test on your app store listing page. Now, this is very, very crucial because the App Store listing page is what a user sees when they come into the App Store. Uh, and that's a very, very crucial determinant of your conversion rates. Here's what you do. You, you come in here, you hit New Experiment. Great. Now, you can pick an experiment name, that's test. This is the main store listing. Here's the most important part. You want to be, these are the main attributes that you can test. Uh, you can test multiple icons. And I think given the primacy of the icons in your App Store presence, I think this is one of the more important parts that you can test. You can test the feature graphic. You can test a promo video. Uh, if you haven't had had a promo video, I would encourage you to consider adding one because this makes a significant difference to performance. Uh, what the feature graphic does is it provides a thumbnail on top of the promo video. So this is just as important. Uh, yes, the screenshots matter too, but I would say that the two most important factors would be the icon and the feature graphic, uh, because these are the two most important pieces of real estate that you have on your Google Play Store. Okay, so now that these are now that you know what you can test, um, so my encouragement would be to start by testing the icons, and if you have any sort of meaningful volume, you should be able to get your first result within a week. Or so if not much sooner than that right, so you can test your icon and then you would test your feature graphic test different promo videos i would say screenshots tend to be lesser a lesser priority than the other three but i think they can be important nonetheless okay so once you have that once you know what you want to test let's say you want to test an icon you can test up to five icons right uh yeah so you can say abc Okay, you can test up to four icons right here. Right, you have the current version and you have three different variants that you can test. Okay, cool. And something else to note would be you say, oh, how, what percentage of traffic should go to the new icons versus the older one? If you aren't trying anything particularly crazily different, I would encourage you to just give equal weight to all variants. Uh, but if you're like, oh, this is a bit of a risky icon, I don't know how this is going to work, then maybe you want to make this 25% each. Okay, cool. And uh, once you have set this up, you can basically hit run experiment, and you're going to basically see the results of the experiment that you have run. And what do the results look like? Right, so let's say you run your experiment, you set this up for a couple of days or weeks as you may require. Okay, so this is what the results would look like. So you set up four variations uh, and you each variant got a certain number of installs based on roughly similar number of views of the Google Play Store uh, listing page. And you see how each of these has performed. In this case, blue new is slightly better. 
I would say not significantly so, right? So in this case, we don't have a conclusive result and you should expect that. I would say if you run three tests, sometimes, oftentimes one or even two of them could tend to be un inconclusive and uh, in, you should aim to keep testing aggressively. Right? Uh, once you know, oh, this is clearly the better performing icon, you can hit apply and you can have that reflect in your Google Play Store uh, uh, presence and listing. Right? Uh, and of course, if you test different screenshot variants, if you def test different promo videos or feature graphics, you're going to see a very similar visualization uh, that will help you understand what's performing better and uh, what can be added to your main listing. Well, I hope that was helpful uh, to get more content tips and tricks from the world of mobile user acquisition. Please hit subscribe right here or check out our blog, rocketshiphq.com slash blog. Until next time, thank you.